Fortune's Pier, where I make my fortune with my peers right here. Oh dear. I don't know what kind of a strange mood this game is getting me in. I need to drink some mocha. I'll look for South Carmen Quarter. Go to Yantin Apartments in South Carmen or Carmine. I was like pronouncing it all like Irishy. Okay, can you tell me the way to Amarillo? I think I think I've seen you in the first game. Hello. I'm talking to you. Well, I guess you're just part of the scenery. <laughs> Either that or you're too busy working. Excuse me, sir, but I believe you. this is your wallet. Hey, welcome. Tell me what I want to know. Can you tell me the way to... to take that left turn at Albuquerque? Ooh, some good gambling up ahead. Okay, yeah, why not? Oh, this is like the weird first-person view thing again. I didn't even have a conversation about money with that guy, I just pressed the regular A button. Um, okay. I'm, I'm actually like really conscious about that Y button thing now, or X button or whatever it is. Um, because I don't want it to... To fuck up again because I'm pretty confident that's actually what happened because I found it weird at the time that he like opened the book and the door at the same time I think that's what caused it to go all fucking groundhog day on us Jeez, look at it look at the way I take those stairs like a champ. What's this? Is it a video game? Five dollars. I'll listen to a tune. Yeah, why not? What have I got to lose? Watch now you have to pay forty dollars to Use the thing. Which tune should I pick? Don't call me. Okay, what what do we got here? Theme, the fusion version. What the loop six? Funny. Don't call me. Authorization number seventy three. What a strange song. Lunch with walls. Cool gambler. Well, that's me. Theme. Arrange Vo C Remix Flower Girl. I'm gonna go with authorization number 73. How could you not go for something that ridiculous? Here's authorization number 73 on the all hits radio station KACL Shenmue 2.98 FM. This one goes out to all those authorized ladies out there. Oh, yeah. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Oh my god, this game has got me in such a strange mood. <laughs> and it actually, like, as I was saying, it feels like it was four, like it's four years ago again. Okay, am I, am I going to gamble with this guy? <laughs> like, it actually feels like exact, exactly like I felt LPing the first game four years ago. Which is really, which is a really strange feeling. Want to make money, big or small? Oh, is this a crapshoot? What are the rules? <laughs> I want you to tell me how to play this. He's so abrupt. <laughs> big or small. So on the count of three, we both pull our pants down and see who wins. Oh, wait a Oh my god. This oh my god. What's a Yidian pair? Is that like a Gillian seed? Um, yeah, I have no idea what you just said, but I'll play. <laughs> I didn't understand that whatsoever. How much are you betting? I'll bet 10. I don't want to go in over my head here. Um... 
big. Yes. Roll the dice and steal the rice. Here we go. It's big. So what do I get? Oh, I got 20, so I got double my money. No, this is way too, like, dicey for me. It's <laughs> literally dicey for me. I like games where I know I can win, or where it's to do with, like, something that I have to do. This will just get me angry, and I'll be like, no, no, I'm not authorized number 73 to play this game anymore. Because I'll do, and I'll be like, that's, but that's not fair. So the labyrinth is a piece of cake, is it? Let's see how you handle this little slice. I can't believe I have so much energy. It's so strange. Like I can't. I don't feel like I don't think I've had this much energy LPing in a while. It must be this game brings it out in me or something. Probably because I have like the utmost amount of disres not disrespect. That's like the wrong word. But I have no kind of like. It like I have no kind of prior um, thoughts regarding this game is, is what I want to say, I suppose. Wait a second, can you tell me how to get to... Carmen? Cartman? No, I don't need to go gambling, I've already been there. No, thank you. I've already been there, thank you. Unless this is like another gambling place. Though I doubt it, you can't have like two... G uh, you wouldn't have like two gambling places on the same turf. Hold it right there. Can I work here? Can I talk to you and get work here moving boxes? Because that's actually my forte. I don't think so, it's not letting me. I was going walking past the fence, mister. There are hazardous objects in use. I'm a hazardous object when I want to be. Get all like kung fu up in your face. What are these? I'm talking to you about money, part-time job. Oh, well, this is interesting. Cargo handling. I did that already. Because I think this is like another... This is like another gambling man. And he has like a monkey, a griffin or something. I'll try this. I'll try everything once. Yeah, Queen's Doritos, I've heard it all before. Okay, Yantin Apartments. At least I got some money for the day. Well, that's good because, like, my second, where's my map? Do I have a map? Overall map. Apparently, I don't have one. Oh, I can go back and buy a map again, is what I can do. Okay, so where am I now? Apparently there's like loads of fucking maps around here. Wong. King's Road, Aberdeen. Heat Shop. I need to find like one of those map stands. No, I didn't want to talk to you, business lady. Okay. Okay, well this is even easier. Who needs a map when you can just talk to people I thought were a woman because of their like hourglass figure and because of their like strangely, well not strangely, but somewhat androgynous face. I wonder what that guy is doing over there with the sand. Well no, let's not get distracted here. I'm onto a winner. Chicken dinner. Could you move faster please? You know, I'm kind of liking this like first person view. It's actually kind of fun. It's something like you never would have seen in like the first game. Which is interesting. I mean the the interesting thing, there's fortune some fortune five hundred or something. Am I walking all by myself? Oh my god, this is brilliant. He's actually walking all by himself. That means I can just like That means I can just like um relax and take in the scenery here. <laughs> this is brilliant. The game plays itself. There's like something on the ground there. This is really cool because like I can just like rotate the camera and get and take in my surroundings. See what's going on here. 
I'm just being good constant. I'm just being like amazed over and over again by this game. It's just as good as the first one so far. <laughs> Not that I've played much of it already, but it's like what you expect. I mean, you expect it to be good. Wait a second. I'm just going to like. I'm just going to skip out, go and get a map here real quick. I hope he's still like moving. <laughs> still moving. Who will buy a map from this stand? I could have just stolen one, you know. Oh, that's a map of Fortune's Pier. So is there like a different stand for each area? Okay, is like my main man still walking? There he is. I'm gonna talk to him again. I know. It's all right. We'll make it. Yeah, maybe by sun up tomorrow. I feel like kicking you, just like Homer Simpson kicked that turtle in that other one, <laughs> in that episode of The Simpsons where he was like, um, "Oh, this is where we are." Oh well, screw this. I know where I'm going. <laughs> the famous last words. <laughs> screw this. Well, let's have a look at that map now. Maps. Aberdeen, because that's the general area we are in, and Fortune's Pier. Okay, but how does this help me? I don't think I'm even in this place. I, I, like, I don't think this is Fortune Pier. This is like the Pigeon something. Pigeon Fountain, Pigeon Square, Pigeon Breakfast, Pigeon Juice. Say it again. Pigeon Juice? I'm going to talk to Barbara. Well, let's have a look at this. Is this going to be like a different map? Do you know what's really funny is like the way a map of the area ahead of here, it'll come in handy. Okay, this is of Queen's Doritos. Well, we can test this now because when we like go in there, we can see if it's like... If it's like flashing or whatever, or if it, it'll show like my position. Okay, so Aberdeen, Queen's Doritos. Well, no, I'm actually not sure how useful that is at all. You have hands, you don't have claws. Stop pressing A, thinking it's B. We're in Bizarro World here. We're not in the Nintendo Kingdom any longer. Okay, so along Queen Street, and then over the bridge, over to over King Street, and then you're in Wan Chai already. Anyway, as I was saying, it's funny, like, this is, like, when I started LPing, like, I, <laughs> here, here come the, what is this? Why can I, why is this a something? What is happening right now? Oh, I can see myself on my map. <gasps> oh my god, okay, now I know what I'm doing. Okay, this is actually really useful. Here am I get, getting all like... Oh my god, this is actually so handy. Do you see what I just did? I just put like a blue marker on my map because now I have like a little mini map down in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, well, here was I getting all fresh with the map saying, well, you're not useful at all. And here it is being pretty goddamn useful or pretty like amazingly useful. Like, remember before in the first game, you used to have to keep checking the map over and over again. All of a sudden, I've got a mini-map? I'm spoiled. Welcome to the 21st century. Actually, wait a second. Was this game released in the 21st century compared to the first one? Because I'm pretty sure the first game was released in, like, what, 1998? Was this game tech potentially released in 2000? I'll have to look that up, because that'd be really cool. Because then, all of a sudden, it's like... Because Shenmue is supposed to be like one big game, right? Just the way like they're making Shenmue 3 now. Um, and technically it's all supposed to be just one giant game. Um, like Siberia or one of them. Um, and then like you have... See, look, now I don't have the mini-map anymore. But it's like really interesting to think of like one game spanning, like being made over... As over like the bridge between two centuries, you know, if you can get what I'm saying. 